cares. He cares about his clients, he cares about his people here, and you can tell it. All the people that work for me today um, are pulling that wagon for me. As a new agent or a new employee, I said, well, Ron's got to where he's been. This is how you have to do the business. So he spent some longer nights here, and he didn't want to leave until Ron actually left. I mean, he's here when we come in in the morning. He's still here when we leave in the evening. It is who he is. He lives, eats, sleeps, drinks nationwide. He loves it. He believes in the company. He believes in what he's doing. Well, one thing about Ron is he's very loyal. He, he's so caring that he wants to keep his clients for the long term, so he goes out of his way to make sure of that going above and beyond and, and basically creating a wow experience. You know, Ron is somebody that I can call at any time if I have a cell phone on my phone. For years and years, his home phone number was on his card and people called him all the time. People that he's had as a client for years and years will call in and will only talk to him. Almost a part of the family. Right. We're like their extended family. We know all the outside numbers. <laughs> Insurance is a promise, it's integrity. It's not a product that you go, look what I have, look how pretty it is, boy, that looks good on you. So I can trust what he says. I know he'll help shop pricing for me to make sure we're getting the best prices. I get quote every year, and every year he beats everybody. <laughs> somehow, even if he's not the cheapest, somehow he, may, he makes, you know, he makes it work. Ron would be successful at nearly anything he did because he is so energetic, so enthusiastic, and he's a problem solver by nature. If he wants to do something, he'll learn it, figure it out, and, and, and go tackle it. He's just a very, very unique uh, individual. And I was that way as a kid. I think I worked at my uncle's greenhouses, and I don't care what they gave me. If it was cleaning the floor, I cleaned the floor. When they got in, I wanted it to be so impressive that somebody says, oh my god, what happened here? He likes to make people better than what they think they can be. He goes, Tony, if you worry about money, you'll never make any money. If you worry about people, you'll make money. I was very impressed that when he hired me, um, he knew I had three small school-age children. And um, he told me that um, he, he understood that I would probably want to go to parties and, you know, be a room mother and go on field trips and that I have uh, twin boys that, you know, growing up, I could bring them in the office, I could, you know, leave to go to baseball games, football games. He would always be there at the long days of gymnastics competitions. My brother wrestled, and, you know, he, he definitely made time for that. Us as kids, he's definitely there for us. Ron is very family-oriented. It's humbling to, to know that he's affected so many people's lives. 36 years in the business, and he is uh, just always looking for ways to grow his business and, and make his agency better. I trusted him right off the bat that he was doing a lot of work and his recommendations were solid. And uh, to continue that was a good step for me, it was a step that was a little uncomfortable, requiring breaking old ties. Um, but once it's been made, I didn't look back. It's been a, it's a good progression in our company. He's a person that gives, and uh, then that helps him become even more successful as a as a nationwide agent and as a salesperson. Ron was kind of like a trailblazer from day one. I mean, he was a guy, first guy to have an associate agent, first guy to 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 put money into the agency, and and, and instead of being an agent. Uh, it was about his agency. He's not afraid to take a risk because I think inside he knows, you know, he's very confident about what he can do and what he can put together and, you know, how he can help people. He's the ideas person. I mean, he, he literally is constantly looking for a better way. I don't even drive to the office the same way every morning. I wake up in the morning and I think they built a new road over. There's got to be a faster way to get there. He, he's my he's my partner. He's my partner in everything. He's my spouse, he's my husband, he's the love of my life, and, and he's my role model. I know we kind of laugh about that too, but I mean, he's such an inspiration, not just to me, but to everybody that he interacts with. My life prior to Kendra was if I woke up at seven o'clock, 
at 7.10, I was already in my car, dressed, um, heading for the office. So now she has got me to where that's 7.30. I, I couldn't have done what I've done without her there. She's been there all the time. And when we merged the business, as you can imagine, we took two companies, threw out all of our checking accounts, savings accounts, credit cards, and all had to merge into a brand new corporation, set up a whole new set of books, and then she picked up a whole nother state. And in the middle of all that, we opened another office in Myrtle Beach. But the fact that she gave up her individuality to me, it was probably the biggest sacrifice that anybody could do. So for her, uh, this is her Hall of Fame also. My life today is nothing like I probably would have anticipated it to be, yet it's one of the happiest times of my life. Big Dog Daddy, Hall of Famer status. I am so proud of you for everything that you've done and accomplished. It's awesome. You're the best dad. Honey, congratulations. This is an award you've worked so hard and so long for, and I'm so proud of you, as the rest of your family is, too. You're the best. Congratulations, Dad. Congratulations, Ron. Yeah, baby. Nationwide agent Sam Serenity from Parma, Ohio will now help us reflect on Ron's fabulous career. Congratulations once again to Wayne Manning. Wayne, you're a tough act to follow. Ron, you shouldn't have lost that coin flip. <laughs> All joking aside, thank you, Ron, for asking me to introduce you tonight as a new Hall of Fame qualifier. I was touched and honored to do so. It gives me a chance to tell you how much, I respect, how much respect I have for you, Ron, as a person, as well as what a great job you do running your agency. Ron, I hope you know this. Over the years, you've been a great example to me. I don't think you have a mean bone in your body, and you're definitely one of the good guys. Uh, thanks again for allowing me to introduce you, because if we all know Ron, and how often do you get a chance to talk to Ron or about Ron for three minutes without him being able to interrupt you? You, you just have to take advantage of that opportunity. Ron and I go back as fellow nationwide a long way, all the way back to the NADP days. Over the years, our lives and careers have sort of paralleled each other. We were both young in the business, he started a growing family. I started a growing family. He ended up having four children. I have four children. He began making President's Conference. I only made champion. Close enough. <laughs> but through the years, our family has gotten together for many company trips, Ron's famous pig roast, Christmas parties, birthday parties, grad parties, and now even weddings. The Smith family and the Serenity family will always have a special connection. It will never be broken. Our families will never forget the road to Hana in Hawaii. <laughs> Some locals advised us to stop at a certain mile marker, so we climbed through a hole in the fence, scaled a cliff, went through a bamboo forest, and swam a lagoon on a quest for that perfect waterfall. We're lucky to be, lucky to be alive. <laughs> um, and Ron, what about those infa infamous Farm Bureau golf outings? Not so much about the golf, but what went on after those outings. Enough said. Uh, Almost as soon as Ron became an independent contractor, he began to run his agency like a CEO. Like I said earlier, it wasn't Ron the nationwide insurance agent versus another insurance agent. It was his nationwide insurance agency competing against your agency. And again, like I said, he was the first one in the area to bring on associate agents, and I was quite impressed. Uh, again, like I said, Ron is a competitor, or should I say marathon runner. Wow, 20-time president qualifier. That's amazing. And I'm sure if you have the time and you ask Ron, he will have a nice long story to share with you about each and every one of those conferences. <laughs> but he's not done yet. He's still a young man. Who knows? He might go pop Bob Pierce on us and qualify for 40. <laughs> if, if I was a sales manager or an AVP and I was running my territory like a Major League Baseball team, 
I would trade half my team for one Ron Smith or at least two Radosevics. <laughs> but what I admire most about Ron is that he's the real deal. What you see is what you get. He pulls no punches. He's passionate about everything he does, always willing to help a fellow peer, whether it be insurance or strapping on that work belt. Ron, again, Pam and I are proud of what you have achieved. I'm sure your family is proud of you, Kendra is proud of you. You are my go-to guy, my confidant, and my good friend. Please help me recognize and congratulate from Cleveland, Ohio, Hall of Famer, the one and only Ron Smith. Wow, I lost the toss, so I'm between you and the dance. So I'll try to keep it as close as Wayne, but I don't think I'm gonna be as good as Wayne. I'm gonna go a little different direction. I'm gonna leave some thanks for near the end. I'll tell you a little bit about me. You heard from some of my family early on what I did, but made President's Conference in 1984. I don't even know how old I was, pretty young. Started this company when I was 20 years old. Never went to college. Gave up, had a couple of sports scholarships. I could have gone pole vault or wrestling, like both of them. But in high school, I was making 17 or $18,000 in 1974. I thought it was a waste of my time. And I think it was a pretty good choice. Dave Evans, who you saw earlier, gave me an opportunity. He was young sales manager. I didn't tell him how old I was during the interview, so he hired me. I was uh, introduced originally nationwide because my parents bought an annuity. And I walked in, a guy named Dave Wilson, who opened the California the very first time, came in and he said, what are you doing? I said, uh, well, I sell flowers. He goes, do you like it? I said, well, I like selling, not so much the flowers. So we should try insurance someday. So I did. So here I am, 35 years later, been this company my whole life. I've had two jobs, worked in the greenhouse business uh, with my family and came to Nationwide. And uh, some people early on gave me opportunities and I'm proud to be a Nationwider. And I'm proud of what I've done because I, I keep doing it because every time I deliver a claims check, I'm the only guy with a check, everybody else has a bill. And uh, every time I think it's getting boring, another claim happens. And it just renews that sense of why you do it. And then I love competition. <laughs> I hate to be second at anything. Unfortunately, I have another Smith in Ohio that I keep chasing. <laughs> but when it's appropriate, I call my brother. But I do want to uh, say a couple of things about some people you saw in the video. I have employees and independent contractors that have worked for me for 25, 26, 27, 28 years. Um, Mary Beth Jeffrey started with me and it was just me and her pretty much. And uh, I sold and she wrote. And anybody knows me, I haven't written an application since the day I hired that woman. <laughs> I don't plan to. And underwriting is glad of that. But along the way, I hired uh, lots of important people in my office. I, like Wayne, uh, can't do this alone. I, I don't even pretend to do it alone. And it's even worse today. Um, if anybody's ever seen my emails, I apologize. But Siri's helping me seriously right now <laughs> be able to do emails better. But Mary Beth started out what I call tradition of hiring people that I expected to work for me for my entire life. And it took me a long time as I was hiring people not to realize they were all going to work for me forever. Uh, some don't, but I realize now they're all good for my clients as long as I train them uh, to do it my way. And uh, along the way, I hired a really special person, my sister, who is uh, 
probably uh, took care of me through all this. Uh, <laughs> Anybody knows about working with family, you normally have some arguments, and in, I can tell you in 28 years, I've never had an argument with my sister. She writes all my checks. I've hired people that make more than her. She's watched all that go on. She's watched me make mistakes, and she just lets me and follows me and picks up the pieces. So, Vicki, thank you. But I can tell you today, we run a large organization. We've put this thing together, uh, and I've done it by learning from everybody in this room. I, I really don't know anybody in this room that I haven't learned something from. I taught so many classes with Nationwide, and the reason I taught them is because I learned more teaching a class than I did teaching them. I mean, I was teaching people in the industry, but I learned every time I learned something from them. I travel around this country, I've got kind of a, um, a known thing that I just travel in the country and meet people that are agents. So Jim Lloyd, I met him when he had one employee. I walked into his office, I was on vacation. I get bored kind of on vacation, so I went and met an agent. Bill Oliver, I met him. He had one employee that same year. And since then, I have met hundreds of agents across the country and learned everything I know from somebody else. I don't have that much of a college education, but I go to every class that I can find, still today. And every time I talk to an agent, I learn something. So for all the agents in the room that have taught me something, some as recently as last week, I thank you. Because I'm here tonight because of what other people have told me uh, works. Sometimes I tweak it a little bit, but I, I learned all that. I taught a lot of sales colleges all over the years, and I've let some awesome people uh, I've got some stories about Kevin McLaughlin, but we're not going to go into that tonight. Um, 